Hey what's up guys this is Anurag back with another video and in this video i will show you how to connect your son or smart switch with your iftt account and by doing this you can control your smart switches by using rest api and then you can use this rest api in your diy projects like in this project you can control your all connected devices from a web page so without further ado let's get started with the video so not all son of devices provide the rest api to control the smart switches there are some devices like the basic r3 where you can use rest api to control the device but if you want to do this kind of a thing in a older version of a devices or the device that are not currently supported then you can use a third party service like a iftt to map your devices with the rest api or you can flash a custom firmware like a tashimota where you can customize a lot of things but it will need some kind of a configuration and let me know if you want a detailed video on that for the sake of simplicity we will use iftt webhook in this video basically using the webhook we'll tell iftt servers to perform a action and then iftt servers will trigger that action to sonoff servers as we don't have direct access to sonoff apis so first thing you need to go to iftt website and sign up with your account i will use my simple google account to sign up there once you are successfully logged in you can see some of the services that are currently available in your account here we will need to add a sonoff service to trigger the action so we'll go to view all and we'll search ev link there it will show as a ev link smart home click on it and it will ask you to connect your ev link account once you are connected you can come back to home tab and click on explore tab here you can see some predefined applets that you can reuse but in our case we'll create our own applet for that we'll click on this plus icon then you will find the services that are supported by iftt we'll select the webhook select a receive a web request here we'll give some event name you can give any name you want i will give event name as turn on main light as i want to turn on my main light on this event then we'll click on create trigger so as you can see we have selected the if event then we have to select the that event means if this event happen then what do you want to do so we'll click on that here again it will show the supported services so as we selected our source as a webhook we want to select ev link as our target service here i'll click on ev link smart form then it will show bunch of options here from that you have to select the appropriate option in my home i have son of 4ch pro son of ifan and son of basic unfortunately as of shooting this video son of ifan is not supported as i want to turn on my main light and my main light is available in son of 4ch pro i will select turn four channels plug on or off in your home if multiple devices are available it will show the list of devices those are here here i will select my device which i renamed it to home and i will select the channel 1 as my main light is connected to channel 1 then as action i will select on action after that you can click on create action here it will ask you to receive a notification on your app when this trigger happens so i will select default and i will click on finish so as you can see i have successfully created our first applet we can test this applet by going to home page and then select the webhook once you select the webhook you will need to click on the documentation here we will need to give the trigger name so I will give my trigger name as turn on main light, and as you can see, as I click on the test button, 
it turn on my main light in my home so you need to repeat this action for each and every devices in your home so as i have created turn on main light i'll need to create turn off main light to create that action now you just need this url and the key to call this get or post method from your diy projects like i did in my web page just make sure you don't expose this key to anyone as anyone has access to this key can perform this actions so that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you did then don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends and i will see you later guys